of gorgeously beautiful ladies. This is a get ready with me for na night, okay? It's actually pretty early, but it's going to be a great thing for me to have this all done so I can watch a movie and then dive into bed. So let's get to it. Now the first thing I do is wash my face. I have a double cleanse. And what I'm using is this Juno Skin Cleansing Balm. It smells like heaven. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, it really helps loosen up your mascara and get off your first coat. First thing we do, too, is wash our hands. We want to clean hands on our face. All right. That's done. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this balmy gooch. <laughs> Just a little bit. And I'm going to... my hands are still wet, so it's going to help emulsify it, and then I'm going to go on to these eyelashes. Mascara is incredibly hard, I'm going to get my hands in water again, to get completely off. This helps really loosen it up. I even go like this, keeping my eyes closed so that I don't get it in my eyes. So I work on this for a little bit. That's the longest part I have for washing, is these eyes. All right. Then I'm going to take a little more of my hand and do the rest of my face. Adding a little water. Oh, it smells so good, ladies. Can you still see me? Don't forget your ears. I'm going to rinse and be right back. I'm right here. You don't want to rinse your face or wash your face with hot water. It needs to be just lukewarm. Now, for my second cleanse, Saturday Skin. Uh, it's a Korean-based one, and I put it on my hands. Oh, shouldn't be opening my eyes. I don't usually. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it, emulsify that, and then hit in. You, you need to find the products that work for your skin type. All these products I'm bringing to you are products that I like and have worked well for me. But you need to, especially if your skin is sensitive, do patch tests to make sure you're not going to burn off your face. Now, see, I don't have that problem. I got pretty tough skin, especially since I'm using um, tretinoin. Following the rest of these steps should help your skin. <laughs> Might as well get in the shower. We need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And that means inside our body too, okay, you guys? <gasps> I cannot stress that enough. We need to hydrate, take care of our insides in order for our outsides to cooperate. All right, you should see this mess here. I get to take off my little uh, wrist, water wrist, and they're soaking. So is my bathroom. So is my shirt. Now we are going to move into my office to complete the rest, okay? All right, be there in a minute. And now I'm going to do my Nira. So I turned it on, and I only go up to three because it is warm, okay, especially around the eyes. I can go up a little higher around the mouth. I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit of what I do. So around my eye, I start here where the crow's feet are. Hear that little pulse? And it's warm. And if you hear this sound, that means you didn't get the, in contact with your skin. So I go around my orbital bone first. And they have tutorials that come with this. And I suggest that you watch those. Watch the videos straight from Nera on how to do this. So this is non-fractal, which means it's not fractal. <laughs> like in the office, the treatments that I had. And I am going to give you a review of what I have done in the dermatologist's office as far as IPL and laser. But this is an at-home device, so it's, it's safer. All right, so what I really love doing, and I feel that I'm seeing very teeny results, but I'm seeing them after a month, is up on my eye. So I go like this. And I push it away. I don't, you don't want to get right on your eyelid at all. And I just follow it around. This is where I really, really want to see the results. Well, that and my fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes. And I also do it on my 11s. And I usually look right in the mirror so that I can find those little lines that I want to kill. 
And then I do it up here as well, still working around the eye. So I do that on both sides where there's like three rows here and then I do two rows here and then, as I said, between my uh, nose and then around my mouth. I turn it up to number four, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to start here because I really want to work on these lines. So I go around and I will go up, down as I move it. all the way around my mouth and I also do in my marionette lines this is called marionette lines you just find where you have these fine lines and wrinkles now they have the new device out the new Nera that has the bigger head on it so that will be you know you can use this it'll just take you longer so I I wouldn't get both I would get the one that you want to use the most and for me it's the one with the smaller because I really want to do the eyes and mouth so as I said this is what I do all the way around both sides both eyes so when I'm done with my Nira I will take my Retin-A 0.5% and it just always pops out I take like a pea size and what my cosmopolitan <laughs> Cosmopolitan cosmetologist says about the percentage. I will show you the steps I've used and my journey, which is almost three years, three years in May that I've been on tretinoin. The holy grail. When I'm done with my tretinoin, then I move on to the serum. So it is important, depending on what you're looking for for your skin, to use an active, especially at this age. So after you wash your face with the perfect cleanser for your skin then you would put on your active this is by neogen it's a real ferment i'm not even sure what that means micro serum but i had been without this for a, a 30 days i noticed my skin felt different it didn't feel as supple and soft as it had when i used this so this is a serum i use and it's important to use a serum after you use an active so whatever serum that you have that is really been working for you continue that that's very important if you haven't this might be a nice place to go so that I shake it up and I put a couple of squirts and then I will go oh, I keep all of my products <laughs> in my little mini fridge oh my gosh even in the winter I just love the cool on my face especially <laughs> after using a device like the Nera that can heat you up it really does Okay, and then next, it all depends on how your skin feels and what you're going to do. If you're going to slug, then you would just, after your serum, you would uh, put on your slugging material, which for me is the CeraVe, but Vaseline works great, and you should be slugging at least once a week, especially in the winter. So if you can uh, slug an hour before bed, it's perfect. And I have a video on slugging more detail if you'd like to see that. I'll link that here. All right, so I'm not going to slug tonight because I have already slugged this week. <laughs> so what I'm going to go in with next is in the winter, I'm really liking this First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. Now I got my first sample, uh, Ipsy. Doesn't have much of a smell and it's very thick. I take a nice dollop and a, oh, and it's cold. Oh, it's cool. Mm. And on the back of my neck. Mm. The stuff is lovely. And at times when I feel that I like something a little more heavy duty, I will take an oil. Now there's jojoba oil, there's rose oil. This is my oleoso oil with olive oil and other lovelies inside. And that is a wonderful uh, addition. I mean, you could you can layer this all on. I'm telling you, if you don't have any kind of acne or skin like that, you can just rapid fire this stuff and you could add an oil on top. Really dry skin, especially around my nose area. So I push this stuff in. Oh, and I do at the back of my neck. Don't forget that. And all the way down. Again, you'll want to take special care to find out how you react to these products by doing a test. Not a taste test, 
but a patch test. <laughs> I am going to add my Cetaphil cream that I've been using. So I am putting that, I put that all over my eyes. Okay. <gasps> patty, 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 pat. Just pat in, ladies. Oh, yes. <sighs> and then I take my CeraVe or Vaseline. If I'm not slugging, I put a nice heavy under my eyes to hold in that hydration. And I do it on my top of my eyes too because my eyes are very sensitive. And around my nose. I'm not slugging, but it feels like it. <laughs> a lip balm. Any lip balm you have. I'm using this Lange, Laneige uh, stuff I got from Amazon for the holidays, Black Friday. Look at that, I'm a greasy mess. All right, this is an extreme winter routine. This is for very dry skin and to keep you from getting extremely dry. If this seems too much to you, you wash your face, you apply a serum, it's just really important during the winter, and then you apply a moisturizer. Uh, that's all you really would need for the winter. I'm finding this has kept my skin just absolutely gorgeously hydrated. If you're not talking and you're just going in and doing it, you're going to be out in under 10 minutes. I hope this has helped you for the winter months. Uh, it's not going to be this involved in the summer, and I will do that as we get there someday. It seems really far off. Take care of yourself inside and out. That's the only way to get your body feng shui. <laughs> I love to say feng shui. I want to be feng shui all the time. So be blessed, sleep well, and I'll see you again with another tutorial. Remember, keep those suggestions coming. Love you guys. Night night.